Today is Lark's birthday. My sister adopted from Vietnam and who died on Christmas in 2008. To pay tribute to her, I'd like to bring up a few things to think about when it comes to adoption. Birthdays are complicated for people who are adopted. For many of us adopted internationally, left as infants in marketplaces and on the street, who are war orphans like Lark, virtually nothing is known about the details of our births. There is no one to piece that part of who we are, our story together. How are we supposed to create a cohesive sense of self when we're missing this fundamental piece of information? It's not just about celebrating being alive. There is so much more to consider that comes up sometimes unexpectedly prompted by a remark or a question. When you aren't adopted, it's easy to make assumptions based on your own lived experiences. Perspective taking is key. Curiosity and empathy help in listening and understanding what it's like to be adopted. Lark looked out for me when we were growing up. She helped me feel safe in an unsafe environment, but none of us escaped the abuse at home. When I think about Lark, she was resilient, active and athletic, despite her chronic respiratory issues. She was responsible in many ways, expressive and playful. I can also see her spirit diminished as she grew up that continued through adulthood. Patterns of self-destruction and addiction and bad relationships appeared. Patterns reinforced by research. And sadly, this research is largely unknown and therefore does not inform treatments or therapies specific to adoption trauma. Virtually no one outside the community of adoptees are advocating for awareness, not adoptive parents, not mental health professionals, not influencers or policymakers. In fact, post-adoption services have steadily been defunded over the last 10 years. The belief is that adoptees can be seen by any mental health professional and that any mental health professional can be trained to become adoption competent. However, adoptees are already overly pathologized and overrepresented in therapy for such diagnoses as depression, anxiety, ADHD, bipolar disorder, and personality and attachment issues. However, there is virtually no acknowledgement of adoption trauma and the fact that we are simply trying to survive. It has taken decades and many lives lost to bring awareness to this truth. Combined with the trauma of abuse we experience after being adopted only increases our likelihood to become self-destructive and suicidal. For me, it has been painful to realize that I may come from the only adoptive family in which three Asian transracially adopted people have died. 
Ham and Thaddeus by suicide, and Lark, who chose not to be resuscitated during her last hospitalization. I truly hope that no one else experiences what I have, that no one else needs to survive in such a way as I have. So Lark, wherever you are, I wish you peace. Happy birthday. <laughs>